Hello guys and welcome back to a very different type of video to my normal ones. What I'm going to do is give you a quick review of a new drilling machine or drill or battery drill that has just been delivered and hopefully this one will be a little bit better than that one. This was a good drill up until the trigger started to give trouble but for now the, the focus point, the important thing, is what's in the box. So, in true e YouTube fashion, we're going to do an unboxing. So, basically, after several years of using a cheap drill, which has eventually give, start, decided to give trouble. I decided to go <laughs> to the kind of the other end of the scale and bought myself a decent drill. At least I hope it's a decent drill. I'm going to find that out and we're going to share and let you know exactly how decent it is. Polystyrene and yeah. there is box. Full disclosure, this drill was bought using my own money from eBay and this is how it came. And as you can see hopefully, it's a DeWalt. And there's a great man calls him, a DeWalt. Anyway. The DeWalt uh, DeWalt something something DCD996. Hopefully you can see that DeWalt DCD996. And this particular kit comes with two batteries. And these are 5 amp per hour batteries. Sorry guys, I'm just going to butt in here and, and mention something which might be causing confusion. It certainly confused me for a while. And that is the voltage that you can see on the battery packs. Now as you can see, these are all 18 volt batteries. Um, in Europe, we tend to call a battery which has 5 cells in it an 18 volt battery. And I believe in the US, a battery like that would be normally called a 20 volt battery. Now, what's the difference between an 18 volt battery and a 20 volt battery? The name, that is all that's different. There's absolutely nothing different about, about the battery or the charger except for the name. Uh, it's just how you, de how you describe the voltage of the cells that are inside. Basically what you've got inside each of these battery packs is five cells. They're all in series, which means the voltages of each cell is added to the, the next one. And if you were to count them as being four volts per cell, you would count 20 volts. But if you were to call them 3.6 volts per cell, would be, they would be 18 volts. Um, in Europe, we tend to talk about the nominal voltage which is the lower voltage which is 3.6 volts and in the US they tend to talk about the uh, sort of charged voltage which is 4 volts it's actually 4.2 volts so that's how confusing the whole voltage thing is so if you see 18 volts on a on a battery pack in the UK that is identical to one which uh, has 20 volts written on it if you see a battery pack with 10.8 volts, that is identical to one with 12 volts. If they're the same make and model, of course. But basically, same number of cells, same battery, same charger, just a different name. It's a different way of uh, describing the voltage of the battery. 
and it's not that the battery is, is any different, it's exactly the same battery, it's just the name is different. Thought I would just uh, jump in there and clear that up for you. So hopefully, uh, you can have the light is, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning. Right, hopefully this will be a little bit better than the last drill that I had. This was quite expensive, delivered, this was just over £300 sterling, which I guess is around $500 in, in US money, something like that, maybe a bit less. So not cheap, but comes with two 5 amp hour batteries, charger, and hopefully you can see this, yep, and it also comes with 70 piece drill set. I've already got all those drills, but you can never have too many drills. Masonry bits, uh, steel and wood bits, uh, bits for screw, uh, screwdriver bits, uh, more screwdriver bits, only shorter, small sockets, and Flat wood bits, 25mm, 22mm and 16mm. And it also comes with, these, these wee things are very handy, I don't know if you've ever seen them or not before. Uh, it's a drill sizer, so basically you pull a drill out, put it into the hole and it tells you, oh that's a 4mm. Yeah. When your drills are all nice and neat in a holder like that, I'll just bring you over this let you see. When they're all nice and neat in a holder like that, you don't really need that so much. But in my case the drills usually end up lying in a box. So a wee thing like that, very very handy. So that is what's in the box. There's three speeds. Uh, Ford reverse, a light in the front which can be very bright, not so bright, or dim. Uh, button on the back to tell you where, how charged the battery is. These batteries will normally come with a, usually about halfway charged, something like that, uh, because lithium ion batteries should never be left fully charged. That's a top tip. If you're um, if you buy yourself a battery drill, uh, do not leave these on the charger full time. Charge them when you need, when you need them, and when you don't need them, leave them with. If you can, one light lit, and your batteries will last far longer. It's quite heavy. It's a chunky piece of. Uh, piece of equipment. There's a hammer action. Uh, yeah, you twist the top so that if you put it there, put this three to three speed. Right, so basically what happens is when you set that to number one, it stops uh, twisting with very little torque. Set it to number two, a bit more torque, three, a bit more, and so on. Until, yep, you struggle to hold it. Oh, ow! <laughs> I just burnt my hand. So, anyway, yes, that is um, a very nice drill. That's interesting. Whenever you put it to low torque, even though it's on speed three, that's full speed, and it's 
not that fast. Let's put it on to high torque, which is 11, which still should stop turning the chuck if it comes up against something pretty tight. But as you can see, it's much faster. Put it on the drill. And a bit slightly faster again. So the torque that you set it to also dictates the speed that it, that it operates at. Well, that's pretty clever. And I wonder what would happen if you did that. Put the number one here and number one here. Wow, hardly turns it off. Yep, it is nicely balanced. If you were to buy this kit, this is what you're going to get. And we'll take you outside and show you how it operates as a drill and how it operates for putting screws in. Okay guys, I've brought this new well, DeWalt drill box out to the garage. I've brought it outside here to have another look at it. And I've been messing about with this for a while now and I've come to a couple of conclusions. First of all, the first conclusion I've come to is that this box has nothing whatsoever to do with DeWalt. <laughs> I bought this off eBay and on the listing it wasn't really clear. Uh, well, maybe it was, maybe I just didn't read it properly, but I didn't get the impression that this was a generic box uh, for a generic drill. That's exactly what this is. This box is one that I presume you could buy from China or wherever uh, with the 70 drill bits in here. I presume you could buy that separately. I, I, I've never seen them separately but that's exactly what this is. It's a drill box that you can buy for your drill. So obviously what the seller on eBay has done is they have gathered up the DeWalt drill, the batteries, the charger and this box and put it all together in a kit to sell it off uh, as a, a kit. Now, why I'm saying that is that these drill bits are not of DeWalt quality. It doesn't say DeWalt anywhere on them. Um, that's not to say they're poor quality, but they're probably not bad. But they're not of uh, DeWalt quality. So just so as you're aware, if you were to buy this kit, and I will put a link to um, where I bought this kit from, but if you were to buy this kit, it's not a DeWalt box. Don't be expecting DeWalt quality with with the, um, the box that is coming in. Uh, that's not a complaint, it's just an observation. These batteries, I think they're genuine. They look genuine. Um, they seem to be genuine. As you can see, you push the button in and it tells you the, uh, the state of charge. If you're wondering why I went for a drill of this caliber with two large 5 amp, uh, five amp per hour batteries, I could have got the whole kit a lot cheaper if I just bought maybe the drill and one battery and the charger or the drill and two 4 amp batteries and the charger. Uh, there were other combinations that I could have got to get this cheaper. But the reason I went for this kit is because you can buy bare tools, DeWalt tools, on eBay and Amazon. They are available. They come without the charger, without the battery, and it makes them a lot cheaper. If I have two of these 5 amp, 5 amp per hour, 5 AH uh, batteries, it's not going to be very many times that I'm going to need to use both of them. In fact, it'll be very rare that I will uh, have a fully charged battery, plug it in, have another char battery charging, and swapping from battery to battery. That is almost never going to happen. 
99.9% of the time I will have a single battery in the drill and this one will be doing nothing. So my thought is if I bought the kit so that everything comes a little bit cheaper than buying it separately I can then use the, the second battery for an impact gun or an impact wrench or a circular saw or a grinder or whatever other tools that I happen to buy and I'm able to buy at a lot less money because I don't have to buy the charger and the battery with them because I've got a spare battery. So that's my thinking for buying a drill with two batteries and two heavy duty batteries and the charger. So that was my reasoning. Unfortunately guys I can now definitively say that this box is uh, Right, this was doing this on me uh, when I was pulling out the drawer. So I thought I would have a quick look to see just exactly what the problem was. And it's quite obvious that inside that is not being supported at the back. And the way that the manufacturers have supported it at the front is with a rivet. So I presume there was a rivet at the back and as you can see there's a hole where the rivet used to be. So I don't know, it didn't, it obviously it didn't like uh, being carried from wherever it was to here to my house. So I presume that happened in transit but it now means that I'm going to have to use my drill to to drill out these two rivets, take this off and re-secure it and make it a bit nicer. But also it's quite plain to see that this is all very, very cheaply done. But I'm not complaining. The price of the whole thing was not extravagant, exorbitant. I've got two 5 amp batteries with the drill. I've got a good drill, I've got a good charger, I've got some bits. Value wise no complaints but I will come back and test them and uh, well, first of all I'm going to put this drill to good use to drill out these rivets to get this fixed and then I'll come back. Well as you can see guys we'll have it all back together again. <clears throat> it wasn't too big a job. Uh, what I had to do was drill out the two rivets here which allowed me to remove this side rail. I was able to screw it and rivet it back together again and what was your uncle? There you go. All back together. So yep, absolute confirmation this box is a cheapy, but I don't care. I'm not I didn't buy it for the box, I bought it for the drill and the batteries and the charger. Alright guys, well as you can see, uh, I've had this on charge for half an hour or so. We're up to two bars now, so not a full charge, but still pretty good. So we shall swing around a bit, pull out our drawer, which now works. Take out the 25mm bit, put it into our drill. Our drill. Make sure it's in straight. There you go, there's your 25mm drill in. Now that's a flat bit specifically for wood. So I'm going to turn you around. And as you can see, this is an old fence post. It's been lying around for 10 years at least. So it's well aged. And let's see what happens when we try to drill in the end of it. Here it goes. That's not bad. I have to say that's a full length straight into an old fence post 
That is not bad at all. Nice sharp drill bit. And a very powerful drill because it didn't even pause. Very good. And I have to say, I'll bring you over here again and show you these drill bits. Uh, hopefully you can see them all right. I used several of, the, several of these bits to drill out the rivets and they were pretty sharp. Now how long they last for is a different matter and if you're drilling into hard steel how long they would last for I couldn't say but I have to say for, for what I've done so far <laughs> repairing this it's not been too bad at all and that, that is a powerful drill. I am very very pleased with that. Just for comparison sake there is the drill that I've just bought and there is the old drill that it's replacing. As you can see the battery module is more than twice as big. The drill itself is a good deal chunkier and bigger and much heavier. It has three speeds rather than just the two speeds of this one. It has a much better chuck. Basically just better, stronger, don't know about faster, but certainly better and stronger in pretty well every way than, than this drill. But you would expect it to be. It was three times the price. You know, this drill was fine right up until the, the uh, trigger started to go. It still works most of the time, but the trigger is a bit iffy. So I wanted to replace it with something that would be, that would last me a long time and I think this should. I think this will do me, I'm not a professional. Uh, I don't use my drill every day. Um, and this is a professional quality drill. So this I think will last me, <laughs> it, must, it might last me my day. So, thanks for watching, and um, I hope you've enjoyed this review. It's only a quick review, it's only uh, to give you some idea of what one of these drills is worth, or what, a, what it's capable of doing. Um, I have no idea why the light continues to stay on, but I'll just take that off. The drill itself is a DeWalt DCD996. The 5 volt batteries, sorry, the 5 amp per hour batteries are DCB184. I don't know if you can see that, DCB184. And the charger is. The charger is a DCB115. And turn you around a bit. The box is not great quality, but it's perfectly adequate to hold your, uh, your drill for you. The drill bits are fine, absolutely nothing wrong with them. They're obviously not the very highest quality drill bits, but for most people, most of the time, they're perfectly fine. And uh, yep, I don't feel in any way cheated or disappointed, perfectly happy with the purchase. Thanks for watching, bye for now.